John, I'm really excited about this trip to Namibia. Uh, it's been on my bucket list for a long time, but you've been there, you've done it. Yes, and I think you're going to really enjoy it, Ray, because it gives photographers four opportunities uh, to enhance the skills in landscape, wildlife, macro, and of course, portraiture. And the idea of actually driving yourself means that um, those of us curious uh, to want to go here or there, we've got a chance for doing it. We're not going on a, an organised tour in a bus or something like that. Uh, and that's what's going to happen. People are going to see images uh, from their cars and wanting to stop and, and get the wildlife within their landscapes. It's going to be terrific. The idea too of, of actually stopping in national parks means that we're at the waterholes, where, where the animals come uh, to drink. Absolutely. And uh, that, that gives everyone on the trip a good chance to get some images of the, uh, the wildlife uh, in their natural uh, habitat. I've seen too what you've done there, that it's not just the animals, which obviously are the main magnet, if you like, but it's also the landscape, which is extraordinary. I mean, there's a canyon there that's as second only to the Grand Canyon. Um, and beyond that, also the indigenous people in some of the villages. So there's, if you like portraits, there's a chance to do that as well. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's pretty exciting. And, and the landscape is so different over there and when when you're driving around you see these magnificent hills and dunes uh, sand dunes and some of the highest sand dunes in the world it just makes for great landscape photography so if um you don't end up a better photographer at the end of this trip then it won't be because of him or me i promise <laughs>